just a tiny stone bounced off your rump, not a ballista bolt. Precisely the attitude that is moving in this city. No hope, no discipline, no consequences. Ready and waiting. Well, certainly waiting. This city reeks of evil. Or perhaps Boo just needs to bathe. Attention! Josephine, I suppose your mother squeezed out a whole litter just like you, filling the damn city to the brim like a slop bucket. You're just the sort that Lord Gortash warns us of. Just the sort he'll deal with. I'm sorry. The Gazette reckons Lord Gortash is the second coming of Baldurin. Every day by rugs like him. City should be for proper folk who earn their crust. Uh. It is stand and deliver, little fig. Though, I think I like yours better. <laughs> you bellow like a true berserker. The commander said I only had to keep out bad ones. So you can pass. That's secret. And anyway, she's away, so Ryan's in charge. So be nice to Ryan, or I'll kick you out. <laughs> Oi! Stop a moment. go. Are we quite sure she hasn't actually died this time, brother? She looks dead. Smells it too. Ooh. It has been a hard road. But I can clip you both around the ear to prove I am no ghost. If it would help. Forgive us, mother. We're just surprised you still know how to find your way home. You know Mother Dear well already. Ryan. A sending spell can carry 25 words. Do you know how many Jahira's only message contained in all this time she's been away? Seven. If you are trying to help me, please stop. The message went, I'm sorry, you know what to do. So why haven't you done it? You were supposed to get the young ones out of the city. And you were supposed to be dead. That's what your oh-so-stoic message meant, yes? Yet here you are. So, what happened out there? I got my skin saved by this one. We've come to take the fight to the cult. Which is exactly why you all cannot be here. Why? You plan on winning, don't you? You're the one who saved her, so tell me. Are we all doomed? See, Mother? A little positivity. You are a very irritating girl. Uh-uh. This isn't your house, remember? You'll keep a civil tongue under our roof if we let you stay at all. Have mercy, sister. She's old, after all. So old! She can stay, but only if...
if she brought home presents. Seems I'm outvoted. See, Mother? That is how you go about talking things through with your family. Now, if there's more to discuss, then bloody well come in and wipe your boots. I think you might have made a terrible, terrible mistake. Huh? Chasing rumor halfway around the city and back. Crossing the guild. Wading through filth. Defying the one creature upon whom your very life depends. All for a madman and his rodent. Hmm? Who would know the meaning of your meaningful glances? The Absolute threatens thousands. The entire coast. And still you risk much to help one man. I should berate you. But... I can only say thank you. Your reasons were your own. But whether you meant for it or not, your fight is our fight, huh? Both of us, to the very end. Do not take that tone with me, Rodent. Fine, fine. All three of us, then. Those misty eyes are just age. Yes, I feel myself growing older as we stand here. <laughs> so, lead the way. We're yours to command. Hmm. I have given you much reason to think that Harper's hoard secrets like precious stones, but I promise you, this was not some intrigue. Just, uh, plain and simple foolishness. As if by keeping clear of my family, I might keep them clear of the cult in turn. And if this fight were to go against us, well, we had already done their mourning. Why well, visit it on them twice? Of course I was. You met her, did you not? The girl had opinions before she had teeth. I was wrong to think I could keep my children from this fight. They're Baldurian born and bred. The only damned reason I root myself in this place. This city is a cesspit. An open sewer of the soul that taints us with its filth and churns us out when all that is good has been stripped away. It also happens to be their home. And so it is mine. Ugh. That might be the first time I have said that out loud. Now come. We had best get to saving it. Lest Ryan turn her ire on us both. I take no responsibility for your plants. You know I'm more of a mushroom man. You've let my study turn into a thicket. Is this what I am hearing? I tended to it. I just let it thrive in its own independence. You know, the same way you raised us. I raised you to be a sweet and kind boy. What happened? I watched what you did instead of listening to what you said. This house has taken in a lot of children over the years. Mother dear was sometimes more commander than, well, Mother, dear. Ha! You see? This one is well trained. I have no need for you anymore, faithless boy. Oh, save your fangs for someone who thinks you might actually use them. I've only ever seen her truly angry once. We were down the market when I was about nine years old. Some merchant started in with the usual. Yes, but where's your family? Whose son are you, really? When Mother was done with him, well, 
Let's say he won't have any sons of his own to worry about. Hmm. Nature's law in action. Coming along nicely there, Floki. Good, strong roots. That might be worth a look. All these people. We should be at home with our loved ones. Well, what are we reading now? It's peaceful, More isn't it? Day? Peaceful for the moment. No, I'm looking for any histories about this absolute. The only moment you're living in is this one. I wouldn't one. bother. Worry about it's the a new god who comes. Unknowable and mysterious. A fine day to you, sir. Are you known to this court? Sir Fluffington, an honor to host you in my manor. Jessam discovered an old family tree in my study. We haven't had a moment's peace since. Tetherian nobility. You might be royalty, Jahira. You don't want to be queen, of course, and Ryan curses too much, so it would have to be me. <laughs> Careful, girl. They have a habit of taking against tyrants there. Huh. I'm not a tyrant. If anyone calls me one, I'll have Fig chop their head off. There was just more to be learned. No arguing. Just tell me you're well. I am well. And Minsk? Wu is also very well. And happy to see you, Ryan. And I him. Enough that I'll let him keep his lumbering, sweaty steed inside. So, this cult. What's our plan? I'm not fool enough to think I can change your mind. But if you're staying, I don't want you taking up arms. There are other ways to fight. Really? Like what? You shame me. In all our hunting, I had put them from my mind. Right. Leave them to us, then. If we can't get them past the checkpoints, we'll at least make sure they're watched over if it comes to fighting in the streets. If I have to stay home and babysit, then it's your job to make sure there's still a home to look after. Take what you need, and we'll do the grand reunion when you come back for good. So... Lovely as it is to have you back, Mother. Go away. You have work to do. Aye, aye, Commander. Wait. One more thing. There are doppelgangers on our trail. One even went so far as to steal my face. Huh. All right, then. If you turn up looking for hugs and kisses, I'll be sure to shoot first. That's my girl. I hope you were hibernating, little cub. I can't think of another reason you wouldn't come down to say hello. Jahira! I d d d didn't w want to see if you were really dead. They said... Who said? Jord and Ryan. They didn't think I c c could hear. You little sneak thief. Well, they were wrong. Look! Not dead! I just had a few adventures. Like, uh. Never planning on letting that go, are you? Moonrise. Like the place from your st stories, Jahira. The very same. We can give that one a happy ending after all. Now, Cub, 
Solitude is a wonderful thing, but not too much. Come downstairs and fight with your sisters. Wait... here. I was... K keeping this safe. My Harper pin. Oh, was a certain little sneak thief playing down in my sanctuary? N no, no. This Harper pin opens more doors than most. Come down to my study and see if you can figure it out. Yes? Tell me, now that you have met Jahira's children, it is not unpleasant to see her on the rough side of someone's tongue, hmm? No, Boo, you will not tell her! Minsk said nothing! We will not speak of this again. Hey, you. I don't know what I was expecting. Something beyond real. My life would have been so different if I ended up working for her instead of Gortash. Looking after these kids. Making a difference. Maybe in the next life. No mind to those. You're probably safe so long as I am here. But if you do not trust me, take the weight from the pressure plate there. Nature's servant awaits. aren't meant for you, but uh, better to stick close, eh? The only patch of wilderness this city permits me. There ought to be supplies here to aid us. You know this place, Boo. <laughs> Minsk has never been invited. Such authority. to have you home. The new informants are coming along. There's been killings in a holy place. Sticks of incense and blood. I bring word of gnomes. Gnomes in the sea. by the blushing mermaid, there's a stink of something fey. Smell of ass too, but boss doesn't care about that. At least things have stayed interesting.
keen eye. But if it's supplies you seek, weapons to aid in our fight, you won't find them behind that door. There is nothing back there of worth to anyone but me. Not a wild shape I have mastered. Just yet. On my word, all you will find inside is dust. And the moldering keepsakes of a much younger woman. Jahira, our friend has put their trust in us. Boo thinks it is only right to return the gesture, no? You so rarely make a habit of being right, Ranger, that it puts me ill at ease when you are. Pass then. Go on. See what it is a foolish old harper thinks worth hiding away. Old weapons. They look strong as ever. Minsk should know. They gave him many bruises over the years. A gift from my husband. I've had to renew parts over the years. But the heart remains the same as the day he gave it to me. Work to be done. at my side and hamster at hand. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. Right of the timeless body. Yes? Ah. The threat of spanking never kept the children from poking through my things. Why should it deter you? It is a ritual, or it describes one at least, practiced by druids of certain esoteric circles. If they be learned and powerful enough, the practitioner of this ritual might slow their aging, extend their life well beyond its natural reach. It is not something you need concern yourself with. <laughs> I've picked up stranger things in all my travels, trust me. If you wish. It's, uh, possible I was a little too quick to judge. A little too caught up in ceremony. It is a ritual, or it describes one, at least. Practiced by druids of certain esoteric circles. If they be learned and powerful enough, the practitioner of this ritual might slow their aging, extend their life well beyond its natural reach. It is not something you need concern yourself with. <laughs> I've picked up stranger things in all my travels. Trust me.
bad soil? Don't tell mother. Yes, if you wish. It is... If... It is not something you need concern. Tend the sanctuary till the real druid is ready to return. Make sure that happens, eh? I'm still just an apprentice. Serve Jahira well now, sir, and I'll consider granting you a title in my kingdom. Good, strong roots. Your salutes, little traitor. You walked me right into that ambush. Sorry, Commander. You are my commander, but George promised me pies. Huh. I can't fault your priorities. You'll look after them for me? Can I have a real sword? No. Hmm. Fine. Thank you for looking out for her. Now bring her back alive. She's too old for any heroic death nonsense. Private residence of Oliver Tafoko. If I'm not here, I'm waiting to greet you downstairs at Beehive Goods and Wares. Think we could get a room, really? Just the two of us? Oh, I doubt it. But we'll 
Another day in the City of Lies, Baldur's Gate, where the people begged for justice until they starved. Two heroes were fated to cross paths that day. Their eyes met. Destiny was calling. Strangers? Only in a fool's definition of the word, it was the start of something incredible. Two heroes on the hunt for justice. No matter the cost, all the Tall One had to do was say yes. The Tall One had failed the first test. They lacked caution. The cat could have just as easily been a foe as a potential friend. Perhaps it was simply not meant to be. Take your pick. I'm going to bump into you sooner or later. I've heard about you. I know the so-called saviour of the city has taken an interest in you. One thing I've learned, real saviours never label themselves as such. Lord. <laughs> A fine title for the greatest scoundrel in town. Imagine. Wagging your big metal woolies up and down a thoroughfares and calling yourself Archduke. Pathetic. He needs a proper challenge, and from what I've heard, you're the person to give it to him. I might not have exactly what you need, but I'll remain at your service. Have a look, at least. Got speed. And come back whenever you need something. new friend. Forgive me. My name is Mohan. I'm a consultant of sorts. Whenever someone worth knowing needs something worth having, there I am. And I have a good feeling about you. I'll bring the Rowakin out here, you tin tube. You tell the Rowakin I went for his goddamn night song, and now he has to pay up. What are you looking at? Shit, it's you. You went looking for the night song after me. Please tell me you found it. You lost fewer people along the way than I did. Bloody goblins. 
Lerokin should have warned us. Sod it. Enough. Lerokin and his precious night song just about ruined my life. If you value yours, I'd stay well clear of this place. doing here this is uh, my apprenticeship it has not been what I expected master Leroican is um, a difficult man he's consumed by his pursuit of the night song I haven't learned a thing and I fear it'll stay that way <clears throat> But never mind that. What can I do for you? It's all I deal with these days. People claiming their trinkets are the real night song. Looking for the mount of gold the rogue can promise. There's even a pamphlet. Take one. They're on the desk. I suppose that, at least, I can help with. Hope you found what you're looking for. Costume. It's not right. You should have killed the little monster. That's right. 
See the city up on the hill. It's up there. No, we pay taxes for you to protect us, not these intruders. Baldarians, stand with me against this tide that threatens to overwhelm us. Please just go home. You're ruining a perfectly uneventful posting with this nonsense. The flaming fists are supposed to protect this good city, but they allow trash and vermin to take our homes and goods. Oh, another visitor, I see. Listen, we keep letting the likes of you in. Soon, there'll be no room left for any of us true Baldarians. Excuse me? I was born inside the city walls, a Baldarian through and through. Wherever you're from, clearly they don't teach manners. I heard you helped a refugee family stay in the home they found. Good for you. As a trader, I'm going to look for a place, too. Wish I could tell you. We're stuck out here, but most of the action is beyond Worms Crossing. Would I try to fool a Sharpie like you? Have a look. You'll be getting a mouthful of sparks at this rate. Unless you've got any decent metal on you, I'm not interested. Only if you're quick. Let me get back. Hey, good looking.
Let's get going. Yes? Bet I can crack that open.
for this world. Stone Lord. He'll saw this. He'll get him. You hear the blood gurgle in his struggling lungs. His last ounce of strength is spent. Be trapped there. Plant your feet with care. Thanks. I have a lot on my mind and, well, in it. That same ship was at Moonrise Towers, if I'm not mistaken. Looks like those two are about to fight. Nobody messes with the Stone Lord rattling. Well, that is not entirely true. Nine Fingers sent her love, asshole. Your Stone Lord's a dead man walking. You, help me kill these asses. The girl will sprinkle you with gold. Serious? A pacifist in Baldur's Gate? <laughs> Nobody's leaving this place alive, cock. <laughs> <laughs> 